What's up, my people? Slim Cutter. I'm back with Cutter's Closet, episode 11, the polyester edition, part two. Man, what is, what's happening, man? I've been gone for a little minute. I took a little break. I've been gone for, what, a good month, month and a half, something like that. It's all good, man. I've been giving y'all time to enjoy y'all summer, man. First off, I want to give a shout out to my subscribers, all my followers, Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube. If you new, you just tuning in to my videos, follow me on Instagram. And I apologize to my homies who sent me some messages, like, why I don't really post a lot of pictures anymore. Uh, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, man. I hate summertime. If you pay attention... A lot of my old pictures when I'm like trued up or polo down or however I'm rocking, a lot of those pictures was from fall and winter time. Uh, so yeah, man, I don't like to sweat. And secondly, I don't like to sweat my clothes out. So that's why I like, uh, usually we're like, when I go somewhere with my wife or something or we go out, I just throw on like a little t-shirt, some basketball shorts because I don't want to sweat my clothes out. I already got like big bag of clothes I got to take to the dry cleaners anyway. So that's why I really just don't be taking a lot of pictures anymore. I'm more of a fall, winter time type of dude. You feel me? So, you know, it's cool enough. That's why you see me post a few pictures with the little Adidas fits on. And um, uh, then that's the reason why right there. But, you know, I'm going to start taking more pictures for y'all to show y'all how I'm rocking. I just don't do it every day because... Or the heat. I don't like to sweat. I don't like to sweat my clothes out and shit like that. So that's what it is. But uh, I'm back upside your head with a new video. I'm glad to bring this to y'all, man. But we gonna get right into it. I'm gonna get into some uh, some more commentary about a situation that uh, is going on with my subscribers. But uh, let's start right here. Oh, first off, yeah, I got. Majority of this come from the bay. I got some a couple pieces that uh, I've been had in my closet that I'm gonna show y'all. I got some uh, brand new super tees. I got some uh, Billy boot cuts. So I caught these. These are Adidas Superstar shorts. They're great. They're excellent. They run uh, big. So if you get these, they retail for about forty five bucks. If you get these go like a size down like i got a large and they fit great so they're not too baggy they're not too tight they're perfect but those are adidas superstar shorts got the uh, trifoil right here i got these brand new um and they 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 real nice man i'm gonna go over here to the condos because when I go through the uh, the soccer jerseys, I'm going to peel this way so I can pull some of the other stuff down. And I'm not going to pull out um, all of the shorts. Just, uh, I mean, all of the kind of bows. I'm just going to show off like one pair. But anyway, the Adidas kind of bows, are, these are, they're made just like the Firebirds. they call called kind of 14s, but they're like a tailored fit. Like a... Uh, they say slim, but they're not really slim like a skinny. It's just like a, a slight taper down here at the bottom. And then you got like this on the back of them. On both legs. But they're real nice though. Uh, in my opinion, I like these better than the Firebirds. Just because of the, the, the fit that they have. It's not like a super tight skinny pants fit. It's just like a little bit more taper for that fitted look. But like I'm saying, they're they not real tight. Like you can see on my Instagram um, when I had on the Samson jersey and the in the black kind of bows that I had uh, how they fit. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not super tight and they're not super big. But I like these better than the uh, Firebirds personally. I had got all these brand new tags. I haven't worn the navy blue ones or the royal blue ones yet. I rocked the green ones and I rocked the uh, the black ones. Um, and this is polyester, so you don't have to put the polyester in the cleaners. You can throw this in the washing machine uh, on cold water, wash low heat, I mean dry low heat. It only takes like five minutes uh, to dry them, so you know, I like that about the polyester shit too. Uh, it saved me money from putting my stuff in the cleaners. 
I had a question about that on Insta too. Somebody was like, how do, you know what I mean? I told them straight up, like, I put all my stuff in the cleaners, especially my Chewy, my Polo, stuff like that. I take everything to the cleaners. But this right here, you don't have to do that. It's polyester. You just throw it in the wash on cold, and you good. You, you good to go. Uh, let's get into some of these jerseys, man. Y'all know how I rock, man. I like to hop back and forth and stuff. You know, I was on the True Religion, then I went to the Polo. I was on the Adidas first early, though, from my, my uh, Polyester Edition video, part one. And then I, I got off of it, then I, you know what I'm saying, and I jumped from back to something to something else. I just like to keep shit new and fresh, just try to be in my own lane with it. I don't like to look like everybody else, you know what I mean? I like to look like me and do me. You know, I always been like that. I always like to stand out and just do my own thing. And then usually motherfuckers follow suit behind me. And I, like, I'm sure I'm about to see like 80 motherfuckers around here with some Adidas shit on now. Because I've been going hard in it. But let's get into this. This is a, uh, this is a, it's a collar shirt. But it's polyester. Polyester. It's, um, uh, it got Corona right here. It's not like a jersey or nothing. It's just a. A collar shirt. I only got this solely because dude gave me a good deal on it. And I, I forgot the ticket he gave me. But it was like an excellent. So I was like, I really didn't even like it. I just got it just because he gave me a good deal on it. I was like, yeah, all right, I'll buy it. Cause I, had, I was getting all of the jerseys. It's nothing on the back. And I was like, oh, that's a nice collar shirt. Let me try and get that. And he was like, yeah, I give you deal. So I'm going to rock it. Uh, one of these months or years, I don't know. I'm throw that shit in the closet. I might never rock it. This is the um, this is a Tyro jersey. Tyros have like the white stripe in the front. They kind of like a tailored fit jersey. It doesn't have uh, any team on it, and it doesn't have any logos. It's just a nice blue one with the trim. Three stripes on the sleeve. It's real dope. I like that. I wear this with um, the Royal Blue Superstars I got over here. This one is the same, but it has um, this Tyro, which is tailored. Well, I don't know if it means tailored or not, but the description said tailored fit, which is like an athletic fit. It's kind of slim in here. Uh, this has Brokers London Dry Gin on it. All these are new. Three stripes on that. It's real dope. I'm going to rock this with the uh, the navy blue superstar shorts or the kind of balls, however. I feel like doing it. Uh, get into the soccer jerseys. Now, the soccer jerseys are expensive. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, but what you have is just like NBA jerseys. What you got is you got replicas, which are like swingmen to the authentics. Like this is basically like a swingman soccer jersey you see what i mean and then i got a couple authentic ones too the authentic ones are real stupid uh but i'll show y'all this one i think this team is um argentina i think i think yeah that's what it said argentina so this argentina has like a little plaque right here can't really see see that has adidas right here in gold has his three stripes the soccer jerseys have like different little padded areas like you can see right here they real dope uh they all have like their own little designs real nice they climb a cool that climb a cool polyester got the stripe down the side like i said like so this is like a little swingman one which is not authentic but it's like the next best thing it doesn't have any uh, name or number on the back. That's how you can tell the difference. Um, this one right here is France. Even, even though they're not, um, if you don't get an authentic one, the, uh, the little replica ones aren't cheap either. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I mean, if you can find them for cheap, go ahead and get it. But they're not cheap, man. So, yeah. Anyway, this is France. It has the three stripes up here. Got the red in them. The red, white, and blue. Uh, brand new. There's no team on the back. Like I said, each little jersey got their own little different design. I tried to get all authentic ones just to be a big dog. Like, yeah, I'm going to get them all authentic. 
Now, I found my money uh, dwindling very fast fucking with the authentic jersey. So, I had to get me a couple little ones. So, I was like, I'm going to get these instead. Got a little rooster right here. I don't know what a rooster got to do with friends, but that's what it is. Adidas right there, Climber Cool. It's real dope. I like it. Show me love, baby. Yeah, I seen this. I mean, I had rocked this. I took a picture in the Mexico one on Instagram and the Samsung one on Instagram. These are both extra dope. The Mexico is real dope. It's uh no name, no number on the back. It got uh the little Mexico design right here. I wore this with the green kind of balls and I wore this with the um the white and red carmines. Yeah. This is the Samson Chelsea jersey. It's real dope. It has like a more of an athletic feel, uh, fit to it too. And it has like this little padded sections over here on the side. Like they feel real good when you put them on. Like they, they great quality. And they fit good. But this dope. Samson. It, this one has Adidas on the back of it. Like I said, I have rocked this on my Instagram. Y'all seen that? It's dope. Uh, now we about to get into a couple of authentic ones that I got. This is the Fly Emirates. Now, however you want to pronounce that. I gave a little bit for this one. It's dope. I'm not going to rock this one until I get a new Gucci belt. It's only because of that green and red in there. Got to get a new Gucci belt for this one. Well, period. Really, I've been wanting the new one. I got to grab one. Uh, I got this one brand new with tags. Well, they always brand new. I just wore a couple of them already, though. It has ACM 1899 right here. Adidas. Three stripes in red. With the red and black right there. Fly Emirates. There's nothing on the back. With the colors up here. It's great quality. If y'all into the uh, jerseys, man, pick them up. They nice. I got this one. I think this is uh, Russia. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, this is a replica. It's $90. You know what I mean? So, just imagine how much I paid for the authentic. But I didn't pay $90 for these. I got good deals on them. I'm just saying they're expensive, though. So, if you're going to do this, you got to have your pockets right. But you know, like, I be buying shit by the bulk. I buy shit by the bonders. I don't give a fuck. I spend that shit. This is uh, Russia. I haven't rocked this one yet. Brand new tags. Got the blue and white going on. Got, like, the little plaque right here. The dragon, Adidas. Three-tone blue. All kind of blues in it. The tags. It's nice. I'm going to rock this one sooner or later. When it cool off a little bit. This is an authentic one. Authentic, authentic on field. The authentic jerseys have a, like a longer cut to them. And they're kind of like fitted. But they real nice though. Like the regular ones, the little replica ones are nice too. But these are like way nicer. You can tell it's authentic. Like and it's padded. And it fits real good. But this is um... Bayer and Munich, Munchen or something like that. I just call it the T-Mobile jersey. That's what it is to me. T-Mobile. Got this right here on the sleeve. Uh, padded sleeves. A little bit of cushion up here. Now, this is the difference. Y'all see that? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck dude's name is, but this, this is his jersey. Gold cheese. It's real nice. Got me a sign something up here. I don't even know what the fuck I be wearing. I just be buying shit and wearing it because it's dope. I'm going to rock this with some trues though because it's authentic and it's hard. It's going to rock this with like some super tees. And uh, I'm going to do it like that. I picked up a hat to go with that. This one is authentic. Uh, let me see if I can pull it out for y'all. Come on, man. Damn it, man. Alright, there we go. Has Chevrolet on the front. If you notice, the authentic ones have a little bit more going on. Like plaques over here on the arm. Barclays League. Got the Barclays League over here. Premier League. Manchester United. That's the team. Adidas right here. 
the tag, the Chevy Sun, it's climbing cool polyester. Uh, this player is a uh, Rooney. I like some lions down here. It's dope. So yeah, like I said, man, I like to jump from different things. I like to switch it up. You know, all my homies, they be like, damn, man, you stay with some new shit. You know what I mean? Like, I just come through. I be on a whole nother. I might come through wearing a trench coat and some rubber boots. Trench coat going to be Gavinci, though. <laughs> I just bullshit, man. But I like to stay on other shit, man. That's why I jumped on the Adidas jerseys. And then, like, I got a, I got a problem. Like, when I jump on shit, I like to jump on shit. Like, when I get on it, like, I had bought one jersey. Then I had seen the other one. And I was like, I got to get that one. Then I seen another one. And I was like, I got to get that one. Then I just bought, like, four of them at one time. Then I bought all the Condivos. And my red one's on the way. I got all colors. I got black, green, blue, navy blue. And I got the red ones on the way. But yeah, man, when I get into something, I just got to keep getting it and getting it. I got to just go hard with it. I don't know why I just been like that all my life. You're going to do it, do it big. That's how I feel. Fuck it. You only live once. Let's get into the truths. I got some brand new boot cut truths. Uh, I got these off eBay. Brand new tags. Um, I got them from... He sold them to me for like 75 bucks. Wonderful Bobo. They crispy, crispy. They're like slightly distressed. Like, you got some little distressing up here. They're the original, like I like. Every time I'm on eBay and I'm checking for True Religion, I always check for the tag. Because I don't want to wear uh, the stretchy yoga jeans. So, they got like a little bit of distress in here. Got some distress in here. They dope. Got like the little fade lines in them up here. I paid like, uh, yeah, 75 bucks for them from Wonderful Bobo. Brand new with tags. They dope. Uh, yeah, I throw them back up here. I got some super tees. I had these. I had got these like three weeks ago. I, I wore them. I got them brand new with tags for hundred bucks, and I wore them. I had them for about three weeks. So uh, I had worn them once already. I haven't put them in the dry cleaners yet, but they dope. They Ricky super tees. This is the one that everybody really goes after or gets first. It's like that dark blue with the thick white stitching. And that's all it is to it. So, um, the tags. 36. Let me open them up for y'all. It has um, stitching down the side. A little bit of fading going on here. They dope. So, I, I haven't really been on the, uh, the True Religion like that here lately. But, I had got a good deal on the Billy Super Tees. I mean, on the... Uh, the Rick, these Rickies, right? Yeah, the Ricky Super Tees, and I got a good deal on those. He gave these to me for 75 I bought these for 100 So I had just got them. I got a lot of pair of True. I got I got like 20 pair of Trues, and I really just been off of that. I just been getting other shit, like this Adidas shit. This is something that I had picked up when I was out of town, and I didn't put it in my other video. I got it from the Nike outlet. It was on sale when I remember... Oh, uh, it was on one of my uh, my recent videos where I showed y'all those t-shirts. I had got this on sale also. This was only like 15 bucks. It's uh, Nike Soccer. See that Nike Soccer? I only paid like 15, 20 bucks for it. It has um, Italia or something on the back of it. Just to let you know it's summer. I mean it's soccer. But it's dope. It's got an athletic fit which means it's kind of fitted. It's tapered fit. In the body, but it's a nice jacket. I usually don't do the Nike jackets at all because they so plain and basic. But this one was all right. I picked it up. We got the white on the sleeves and the little fonts on the back. So yeah, I got that. I picked this up a long time ago. It's super ancient. It's LRG. I probably only wore it once. This is some stuff I all been had in my closet. And this is, uh, I had this shirt back when I had my first Gucci belt. Because it was black, green, and red. I used to wear it with that. I got to get another one. I'm going to get another one, though. But it's dope. I've been sold that Gucci belt. It was raggedy. I got like $175 for that belt. But this is LRG. 
It's cool, man. I had I it's been out the cleanest. It's just been sitting in the closet. I like LRG, y'all. Like um LRG is a nice brand. They make quality stuff. It got research on the black on the back of it. LRG with the red and green on the collar. Research 47. The red down the side. But yeah, I bought this solely just to go with that Gucci belt. I had the black, green, and red one. Or was it brown, green, and red? I don't I'm not sure. But anyway, I had that shirt for eons. It's ancient. I want to talk to y'all about off-brand. Well, not like off-brand brands, but brands that nobody really know of, like upstart brands. Like, I'm the type of dude, I be giving brands a chance. Like, you might see in one of those videos, I had that best jacket on, Breezy Excursion. I like to give other little brands a shot. So, this brand right here is called La Vie, and I got it from uh, DrJays.com. It says, In God We Trust, La Vie, New York, the 3X. It runs kind of uh, small. That's why I got a 3X. But um, it's a gray sweater. It has like the pockets right here on the side. It's like kangaroo pouches right here, right here. It has a trillionaire gun and rifle club. It's good quality sweater. I got it from drjays.com, and I think maybe I paid like 20, 25 bucks for it. You know what I mean? So when y'all on these websites and you see something that uh, you you know you really not sure of. You like, I don't know about that. Man, give it a shot. It might be nice. But like, that's what I said. Like, a motherfucker like me, I be pulling shit off because I'm already established. Like, motherfuckers know me as being fresh. And I can get away with a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could wear this under a true religion jacket and nobody ever question what it is. You know what I mean? So, they just be like, oh, that's nice. Chill in their gun and rifle club. That's a nice sweater, dog. And that'll be that on that. Now, what I want to get into, man, I've been getting a lot of extra uh, followers on my Instagram, and they've been females. Me holla at my subscribers, my my niggas, man. I don't know if y'all watching y'all videos, watching my videos with y'all girlfriends and shit, but I think that's the case because I asked a couple of them. I was like, damn, where I know you from? Woo -woo. She was like, oh, I was watching my your video with my boyfriend. Hey, listen, y'all watching my videos with y'all girls, and your girlfriends is adding me on Instagram. Look, like, don't get finesse. Look, y'all getting y'all girlfriends finesse up from up under you from my commentary. Quit watching my video with your girlfriend. Because now they add me all on Instagram. I swear, to, look, the last 18 followers has been girls, and I swear it's your girlfriend, nigga. <laughs> But y'all know, man, I'm married, man. I ain't tripping. I'm just saying. When you watch your videos with your girl and she hearing me talk shit, now they want to see my pictures and they add me. And then she had the nerve. I was like, oh, shit, well, who are your boyfriend? Probably one of my boys on Insta. She was like, don't worry about it. I'm following you. I was like, damn. See? Can't trust these motherfuckers. So, yeah, man, don't watch don't watch my videos with your girl, man. Just enjoy it with your niggas and talk about the clothes and talk about new shit and do it like that. Don't be like, yeah, baby, this nigga right here be fresh. He be talking that shit. Yeah, she be like, yeah, nigga, I need you to be like him, nigga. <laughs> Let me show y'all a shoe. I'll show y'all a couple shoes. I want to see that. This is the Kobe perspective. Now, don't get it fucked up. I don't wear this shoe for fashion. I wear this shoe to hoop in. I bought these solely to hoop in. Um, I probably lost like 80 subscribers. <laughs> Motherfuckers like blasphemy. He hoops in them. Yeah, they Kobe's. These was made to hoop in. I be dunking on motherfuckers all day in these. They be mad as hell too at the gym. You know, motherfuckers come to the gym high as hell. And they be mad when you dunking on their ass. Hey, man, this nigga the only nigga that can dunk. It's not fair. I be doing their ass dirty as hell at the gym. Motherfucker be high as hell trying to check me. Nigga, get your ass out. Boom, sucker, locker. Dunking on his stupid ass. But these Kobe perspectives, man, they are very comfortable. It looks like a high top, but it really isn't. It's actually a low top. That's the real shoe right there. That's about it right there. 
but they nice though, man. I, I hoop in these, like I said. I don't wear these for fashion. I got a few t-shirts to match them, but um, yeah, I wear the t-shirt to the gym and then I hoop in them. So that's what it is. I want to show y'all something very, very ancient, man. Y'all know I love Air Force Ones. And when these had came out like 20, 25 years ago, I loved them to death because of that Air Force One bottom. Now these are, I got the black and white ones too. These are Fusion 12s. And I liked the Fusion solely because of the sole. The uh, the Air Force One bottom. Y'all know I love Air Force Ones. But these are the Chutneys. Rip, uh, Rip Hamilton was modeling these back when he paid for the Pistons. Everybody thought they was Rip Hamiltons, but they not. This is something that's been in my closet for a while. And they like, they, they still extra crispy. Like, y'all peep that? I haven't worn these in a long time. It's the minimum of yellowing. Yeah, I'm going to say the minimum, but yeah, they all right. But yeah, these are the Chutney 12 Fusions. And um, I probably wore them a handful of times, but yeah, man. I had liked these when they came out. I had got these. I had got the black and white ones. I had got two pairs of the black and white ones. I liked those so much. But they're a comfortable shoe. And it's something I probably always keep. I'm not going to ever sell these. I'm just going to keep them in the box where they've been sitting. Like, yeah, like I said, I had these for millennials. Like, forever. So, yeah. Uh, let me show y'all something else. A motherfucker called me out on these in the barber shop. He was like, what? Trying to be cute? What are those? I was like, bro, these Terminators. He thought they was fake Jordans because of the cement in the front. I was like, dude, these is Terminators. Nike, Nike Terminators. And he was like, oh, I ain't never seen nothing like that before. And I was like, I know you have it, motherfucker. I'm not a hype beast. I be I wear what I like. When I see some fly shit, like I thought these was fly. That brown, the green, the burgundy with the cement print. I was like, these is alright. Check them out. They alright. Nike Terminators. They on eBay going for like you can I don't think you can get these exact ones anymore on eBay. But you can get something like them. Not with the cement print though. Uh they suede with the leather. They real nice, man. I like them. But yeah, dude thought I had on like some fake Jordans or something. He was like, bro, what is them? What are those? I'm trying to be cute. Like, nigga, watch out, nigga. These Nike Terminators, nigga. Move. But I like these, man. So that's, um, this is my episode for Cutter's Closet. Episode 11. This is my review. Uh, shout out to my subscribers. Shout out to all my followers on Insta, Twitter. Uh, what's the other one called? Y'all be following me on a Tumblr. Yeah, I got followers from Tumblr and everything. I appreciate the love, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna throw another video up. I got a gang of polo shirts in. I was supposed to do another a video on those long sleeve polo shirts. I got those in. Um, so I'm gonna do a video on that. I might do a video on my whole little hat collection. I had a couple questions about what kind of hats I like. Do I like the snapbacks? Or, no, I like strapbacks, motherfucker. That's what I like. I like the strap. So I might do a video on those. But um, this is it, man. This is with my review. True Religion. Some True Religion jeans. Oh, get the fuck out of here with those. Some uh, two pair of trues, some super tees, some billies, couple jerseys, couple fly emirates, uh, Chelsea, Nike jacket, all the condos. And that's my review, man. It's Slim Cutter, man. Until I do my next video, y'all be safe out here in these streets, man, and get y'all money.